we're almost at the stage now where I'll stop doing those long splits. In fact, I've just noticed that one, I'm going to do it anyway. That's much neater now around the back. And we'll put that there. Some areas will be a mess at the moment, and again, as long as I get to it at the end of each section and I clean it up, I don't usually beat myself up over it. Um, because I know I'm going to come back and clean it up before I move on. Now to do this eyebrow here, this brow is going to be slightly different. We've got it indented here from from this bit. And the eye goes in there in a nice way. So what I'm actually going to do is extrude out a new eyebrow. And I'm going to do the whole edge there. Turn off the soft selection. And just extrude it out and then smooth it. And that'll give me the eyebrow shape that I wanted. Won't be pleasant around the outer areas like this. So we'll clean them now. And then actually, I think I'll turn this edge in here. So this is where I was talking to you about the, uh, the thing called spinning edge. That's just basically turned that loop around and brought that round back up here, which makes that cleaner. I made a mess behind it. So we can carry on and do what we've done. So opportunity is there to clean up. There's a great example of a bad pole there, so I'll show you that. That's a bad five star, five edges coming into one vertice right on a on a um an area that could cause problems and there's lots of ways to fix that so in this instance I'll look at the flow and it's coming around here and then it stops and breaks here so the way I'm going to fix it is just by I'll delete what I want out and I'll put what I want back in with the cut tool so there's a that's now flowing nicely there leaves a mess underneath so we'll do that one that one's flowing nicely and it turns there so nice so from what was a horrible mess there with the star we found the opportunity and fixed it quickly and it's given us that nice cheekbone already not brilliant there because you've got another star there so we can probably work on that one um, but that horrible one disappeared straight away so although this isn't true obviously this is a fantasy creature as I said at the start we're looking to match a, a realistic style of geometry. So we're looking for those muscle groups and turns as much as we can. Um, definitely helps us. We need a split through here, I think. And through this bit. Um, I'll just take it to the corner there. And then end it abruptly there with a triangle. thing is I've got two triangles, one up here. As you see, so two triangles very close together. Great opportunity to make into quads. Just tighten that up with a smooth. Again, a few not so brilliant poles, but we can work with those. Each bit of the process is a trade-off of whether you want to do it now or wait for an opportunity later. Bring that around slightly because I've just spotted that I want to put a bit more geometry in there. And it should run under the bottom eye, which it does. And it runs up the top, which is absolutely fine because I've got to put the furrowed brow in there later so that one worked out well again do the do a quick calculation if I put a split in will it give me too many polygons in a place that I don't want if it does then don't do it if it doesn't and it works like that one did then you're very lucky Okay, so that's the two eyes done in terms of overall shape. Again, not totally where we're going to be when we finish, but it's uh, a good enough approximation. 
Now we'll go and do we'll do the split round the nose, the nostril. I'm just going to give the nostril a nice little indent, like so, and then indent it somewhat more at the top and in on itself. We'll close this nostril over a bit, I think. Then we'll close this one in a bit. And there we go. One more, one more ring that gives us the ability to smooth it out around here. Gives a nice smooth edge. it out a little bit on this side make the ridges of these a little bit more intense by bringing them out a bit even out the bottom ones here visually looking at what I'm going to do next because we're working our way down to the mouth um, we didn't put enough of a brow under here un underneath this now we can't split that ring all the way oh actually yes we can it comes back in and around so I'm okay with that I split that one giving me some nice polygons under here to make a nice furrow so tuck that brow under as I said, it's a fantasy creature, so it's got some odd anatomy, but still trying to think of it as um, in realistic terms. So obviously you wouldn't have two furrowed brows, one there and one there. Um, little oddities creeping in like that little section there, but not a problem. Okay. Another quick save, I think. Right, so what I think I'll do now is work on, um, I need a, a, a split down here that comes down and around the corner of the mouth, the cheek fold, um, and we haven't got anything defined in there at all. So I'm going to start at the top. I'm going to work out where I'd want it to go, which would be good, which would come around here, 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 here. And then I'm going to give it the flow that I want by changing the flow of the polygons bit by bit. I'm just going to cut my way down, not in a particularly nice way. When I say nice way, I mean not, not in a, a clean way that I've been uh, describing to you. can see that it's made a real mess but very quickly we can clean that up and this is cutting some serious changes into the mesh now it's going to come down here we've got a good edge loop locked with that green so we're not going to disturb that we're going to get this nice change the change of flow down here and leave that one over at that side that's left an end gone but again I'm going to clean all this section in a moment so nice 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 coming down here triangle but we can deal with it Coming round the front, not a problem. We'll split through here for now. All nice down here. We'll help that triangle on its way by coming down here. Delete the edge. So again, that's cleaned up very quickly. Carry on down here. And we'll go right to that corner there. And we'll come around here. Get rid of 
that one. Let's have a look now. Better, better. So, see the opportunities straight away. You start to spot these um, very quickly. And you'll be able to change flow just on just spotting it really and just moving it as you as you as you get better and more experienced um, you just see the opportunities from a mile off I'm gonna cut through that area into the back of the ear there and we'll leave a triangle there for now Oops. Okay, that cheek there is now very very defined um, which is absolutely what we wanted on this model gives us a really pull it out and you get a really nice sharp cheek which is exactly what this model was needing and you've also got the flow of the cheek fold if you look down here now I can almost not quite yet I can almost see the new edge loop going in. Don't mean to do that there. I meant to do that into the centre of the mouth. 